What's going on, dudes? It's Steve Duke, and we are here with uh, Three Block Challenge number four and Build Challenge season number three. Uh, part one's coming up right now. What is going on, dudes? It is the real Duke, and I'm coming to you from Three Block Challenge World on the Infinite Heights Minecraft server. We are uh, standing up here, flying in the center. I got some special guest judges with me, um, sort of. We got uh, got slugs. Anyway, what's up, slug? How's it going? Could be helping us out. We got slicks here. He, I guess, his mom came by and has a book for him. I think he says Is that. What he said? Yeah, the little train that could, I believe. The uh, the little train, train, choo choo. Is that what it was called? Woo woo. The little engine, I think that could. Yeah, that, there you go. I think it was a little engine that could. So we are judging three block challenge number four. Um, if you don't know what three what the three block challenge is, I pick three different blocks that I think make an interesting combination. You can use those three blocks plus up to three signs and up to five torches <laughs> to build whatever you think is the coolest thing. And when we go uh, we'll go around later. And we'll hand out some awesome prizes. And when we do, what we're going to be looking for is the most unexpected and cool kind of unique build. So not necessarily something that's expertly done, but we've maybe seen before, but something unique that we weren't expecting. And I, I hear I hear a box of wine, rubber wine glass, throat clearing. Is that... It slicks back? You back, it's buddy? It's a cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> some rotten egg wine. Got it. Welcome, Slick77. Thanks, man. Thanks for joining so if you are checking us out on uh on the live stream thank you for joining in how you guys doing good to see you thank you for coming out if you're checking us out on youtube this is only part one we're doing more parts later thank you for watching i appreciate your view too so uh what do we need to go over anything else just jump into uh, this voting judging. system voting system oh my god how did i forget that dudes if you're on the server right now uh, and you're watching the live stream you haven't yet do slash 3bc and click on the button under the sign of the on the lapis block that says to vote, go cast your vote for the player choice award. It could be any one of the plots that you like. Do it. You have until the end of judging to make that happen. So, you know, get in there because we're about to get after it. Good. Thank you for reminder. Thank you for reminding me. Oh yeah, we're also doing the pixel art challenge. Man, you guys are on tonight. We're doing the pixel art challenge right now. It's ongoing. We'll, we'll buzz by there later, maybe at the end. See how people are doing. You still got about a week left. Uh, if you didn't sign up for it and you're feeling inspired, you should do that. And we're going to have the player choice award for that also. But that will make more sense when we fly over there later. Maybe. We'll take we'll take a sneak peek. So. Ooh. Woo. Woo. All right. Did I forget anything else? Uh, oh. I don't know. Man. Will there be a voting system for the PAC as well? Yes. We will also do Wait. the player choice award for the PAC. Uh... That's it, I think. I think All right, that's let's, it. Let's get into this judging. So we're here at plot one, with MC Inheritor. Brightness, moody, render two chunks, nighttime. The four skulls, they may overlap, but I hope you can tell the difference. All right, so we got four sides. Did he say night? He's at night, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Two chunks, moody. Let's see. Moody. Inheritor, my man. Nice guy. Good guy, Inheritor. Oh, that's pretty cool. So I see, I see the skull in the front, and it's got, I got the two eyes and the teeth, and it's kind of like a, <laughs> kind of a face, right? <laughs> and the one over on this side. The two sides are the hardest to uh, see. I'm feeling that also. The back one looks like uh, cinnamon buns. Uh, kind of a... <laughs> you guys know cinnamon buns? You guys know cinnamon buns, right? Yeah. No, just how you did. Uh, I am having trouble, like Slick said, also I'm having trouble finding the skulls and the sides. Hmm. Thinking of this lower pane here is the mouth. I don't know what this skull on this side is. What I'm thinking that's made now, the idea is awesome. It's a good idea. 
uh, the concept is really cool. And I think he's he's made like a, like with skulls aside, the composition I think is interesting, and I think it's I think it looks cool. And every time we fly around, we kind of see different things happening. Um, what I think is making it hard to see the skulls on the sides. Sorry to just jump in front of you, slicks. Um, what I think is making it hard to see the skulls on the sides is that they're much more transparent than the skulls on the front faces, and so I'm getting interference from what I can see behind them, and so it's hard for me to pick out. Uh -huh. Oh, come stand down here, Duke. Where you at? Uh, there we go. You kind of have to look at the pillar in the middle for, as the nose. Okay. I yeah, I can. Okay, I can see that. I can see eyes there. Uh, nose in this region, and then mouth across here. Okay. Maybe the stone bricks on the other side make the eyes for this side. That would make sense. Oh, I can, okay, I can kind of see, I can kind of see this one. This one's like a, maybe a longer face with an eye here. I hear the, the red clay as a nose and like a mouth down here, like a longer, thinner face. Okay. I think. It's a cool concept. I think it's a really great idea. That is a really great idea. Um, if it would have been easier to see the faces on the sides, um... I would have been like, oh, snap. That's awesome. Brainiac said the, tr the stream just stopped for him. Oh, I just kicked him out of your, your page. That's why. Oh, oh, good. Just kidding. No, I did get a little thing saying I was getting some drop frames. I apologize for that. My, uh, my internet service provider sometimes cooperates with streaming and sometimes it does not. <laughs> um, hopefully when we pick up the stream for the next part, that we'll, we'll be good. I don't know. What do you guys think? Final thoughts? Good job. Good usage of space yep. blocks. I think uh, I think MC Inheritor is taking criticisms pretty well and trying to do something a little bit different and unexpected. Yep. Especially trying to get to that next level. Yep. Before he started. Good job, MC Inheritor. Plot number two. We got John Paul B. Four crystals combined make a torch. Not a regular torch. A torch that keeps the world from dying. If the torch is broken, the world will die and nothing will survive. Okay. I feel like this is a design that Slicks could get into because it I looks voted like, for this. Looks like, uh, <laughs> it looks like there's like moving parts in it and stuff like that. Slicks usually goes for that. He also goes for those uh, fantasy type things, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is cool too. I can hear like that monkey or monk kind of music going off. What kind of music? Like the monk chanting kind of thing. Oh. Uh, as I'm walking up to the porch. I thought it's you said like, I could hear a monkey, and I was like, uh... Yeah, that I didn't mean, sound... I said that, but... It, <laughs> you meant, you meant monk-like, so. I got you. No, I got yeah. you, I got you, I got you. So here's... here's oh, a, man. Go ahead, Six. Uh, I wish he would have put a torch... I guess, instead of from the top, in the base... And take the four away from the bottom. Like inside there to light the blue glass up? Yeah. Yeah. What I was going to say was, I wish... Because it looks like these sling, these things... That's cool, too. It looks like these things, these red things on the sides, slide up and down on these blue things. Oh. And so I think if like this one was here, but then this Stagger. one, yeah, this one was a little higher. This one was even higher, and then like this one was all the way up at the top. I think that that could be. I think that could be really cool because you know, as it is right now, it's a, it's perfectly symmetrical. And if and if it had that kind of thing, it would imply all this motion, and it would be like an interesting, a more interesting composition, and it would be a lot more active. Yeah. Um, I think there's enough here to get Slick's mind wandering, right, Slick's? You're, oh, you're, yeah. You're picturing all kinds of crazy kind of scenarios for this, um, which I don't deny at all. I think this is a really good build. Um, I think taking it up to the next level, think about, you know, John Paul B. Taking, uh, think about, uh, you know, shifting up the composition a little bit more. But that's it. That's my only. That's my only criticism for this. 
because I think the the block ratios are cool. I think those are good. Good use of the blue, the trans translucency of it. Very good. What do you think, Slug? That's good. Maybe create the mood too. You know, it's like a lot is riding on this torch. Maybe we need like a defender to protect it or something. That's a cool idea too. That's a cool idea too. But yeah, this is awesome. It leaves a lot to the imagination. Absolutely. Awesome build. Jean Paul B. Jean Paul B. Plot number three Red Gale. The battle lava versus water. I mean, I'm seeing this immediately, right? Yeah. And I mean, you see this down in uh, Hawaii, right? Along the coast <laughs> with the volcanoes. As it devours roads and houses. <laughs> and and also Not on, on, island, on the on the beaches where it's making this the great state of Hawaii a little bit bigger every day. Yeah. Yep. We're gonna get a new island eventually. I mean none of us will be around to see it, but it's gonna make me into a robot and I'm gonna be alright. I'm gonna be there. <laughs> awesome. So from over here I see uh, I don't know if you guys if you guys can hop in here with me. Come here, come here, Slex. Don't be afraid. Come on down here. Add a boy. Add a baby. It was cozy. Oh, you in got here. a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I see eyes, kind of eyes, and like a mouth kind of thing happening, like right in here. And then if you come over oh, here yeah, yeah, yeah. and you look this way, it's like two eyes, oh. a mouth, and then like a like the three torches are a mouth, and then this is a nose. That's pretty genius. That is sweet. I mean, I, I noticed the signs of the three torches. I dig how active this composition is. There are two things kind of this in like this state of flux with this action, and they're coming like and colliding against each other and fighting. Um, and I, so I'm totally digging that composition. But then there's that little extra touch of those like eyes in there and like the faces on the things because it's like. It says the battle, right? Which implies an anthropomorphic quality, a, a human-like quality to things that are not human-like. They're not they're inanimate objects, water and, and lava, but he's put faces on them also, so it, it it is actually it actually appears to be a fight, which is pretty sweet. It's very clever. And I, th I feel like I feel like these little little slabs kind of floating around there are like uh, steam. Mm. Oh, I was thinking something different. I was thinking that he used the blocks different for each element, like the water. It's constantly rolling around. It's much faster. Mm -hmm. You got the rocks in the middle of the wave mm -hmm. instead of on top, like the lava, since it's much slower and un ponderous. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried these big words in day. It's not working out well. That's all right. But you, I mean, That's you can it. kind of see that because in in the in the overworld and survival, water flows much faster and farther than lava. So, the water kind of reaches in a little bit farther into where the lava is, but the steam rising up on this other on the side above the lava kind of balances the composition out. I think that's very very well done. I'm digging this. What are you thinking, Slug? Yeah, like it. I wish I could see more action. Though. Like, what's gonna happen next? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who would win this? Lava. No idea. I, mean, I just, I just that said probably, that. Yeah. I was thinking that though, because lava's gonna turn to rock, yeah. and that rock will last. They'll just slowly intrude on water space. That should be another vote for next time. <laughs> Which would win in a fight between lava and water? Water. water. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Plot number four, Chronic God. Where you at, buddy? Oh, you know. poor guy. Miss him. Man. He's gone. Uh, Plot number five, Tropic. Mecha Gundam inspired robot head. This is awesome. When I immediate when I saw it, I immediately thought from the front because of that like uh, face mask, because of this face mask type thing in the front. I thought uh, Optimus Prime right away. 
<laughs> yeah, with the colors. Kissy says uh, in the chat on Twitch, it would make Obsidian talking about the uh, the lava and water hitting each other. That's true, unless the lava hits a water source block, and then it would make smooth stone. Uh, I like the fact that this is completely different from every other build Tropic has done, where it has a lot of different twists and. But this is just straight front and back. Mm-hmm. Uh... Yeah, she's like, got that Bruce Lee style. My style is no style. <laughs> she flows like water. <laughs> I still hate her, but... Well... I can't knock the style. Obviously. She's so mad right now. Somebody tell me she's mad. She's always mad. Ever since she got that haircut. <laughs> I'm not sure she actually even got a haircut. There's no way to know. I mean, I'm digging on this. Like, I'm digging these kind of wing-like elements on here. Because they add a lot of motion to what would other be otherwise just be a head. You know? Mm. How do you feel about the about the robots, Slicks? I'm not a big sci-fi fan. I've watched oh. the movies, they're great movies. I just, I can't read the books. I get bored and fall asleep. Yeah, you're bad. That's why you think that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't Did you guys see the new the Robocop movie a while ago, last I month? Not. Oh, man. Good? Well, I love robots. I hope one day to become one, and, uh... Yeah, I mean, it was so well done. It was so... Like, the special effects were incredible. The way they made him into a, into a robot was awesome. Like another, another solid build from Tropic. What do you guys think? Agreed. She always does the right things. She just knows how to do it. Agreed. Good job, girl. All right, we got how many builds in this? We got... Uh, 11. 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But one was skipped, so we'll do one more. And then we will cut for part 2. So here we are, uh, plot 6, Knivesy. Hey, girl. That is an awesome skin she's got on right now. Um, so we got... The Loch Ness Monster won't fit in a fish tank. Awesome. This looks like oh I fell in. I'm in the water. I'm in the tank. I'm in the slicks. Help me. And he just I would break something, but he you just know. you can fit through these flats how I got down there. He just you're just gonna watch me get eaten by the Loch Ness monster, aren't you? Yeah, I'm fat. I can't get you're down there. Fail. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Maybe put down a box <laughs> wine there. And the Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> the Cheetos and box wine. The thought of those two flavors at the same time. Not good. Makes me gag a little. It's not bad oh, it makes me. Oh. Look, you're fatter than me. How'd you get down there? <laughs> <laughs> I am not fatter than you. What do you uh, What do you think about that, Slugs? Not about the fatness, about. Oh yeah, because I was about to read it. <laughs> He's about to light you up. <laughs> I like this. It's a cool idea. Cool concept. Maybe put more motion on the top if this is water. Oh, that's a good idea. Like ripples in the surface. Yeah, some splash coming up or something. Yeah, that's that's a cool idea. I didn't think of that. I can't tell if the stained glass on the tail is part of the water like air bubbles if it's moving or if it's scale the way i think they're very precisely placed and so i think they're they're precisely and regularly placed so i think they're i interpreted them when i look at it as scales along the spine yeah so knivesy says she's the lich king from World of Warcraft. Oh, oh we got a wall player. 
You should talk to uh, Mike Ambrose 3. He'll hook you up with some uh, cheap Chinese wild gold. <laughs> <laughs> totes. Totes my goats hook you up. I think this is a great idea because, like, so she's, like, she's made an aquarium, just like a box, right? Right. But there's activity happening inside it that we can see, and she's used the, like, the glass to allow us to see that. So I think there's good activity going on in there. That makes it not as stagnant as if it were just a box. And then the way this head's kind of poking up at the top. With some lights on it. Ooh. Yeah. Let's see. That kind of changes it a bit. Changes it a bit. I just noticed that because of all the panes on top. If you look from the side, it looks like the foam from the sea. The sea monster breaking out. It does kind of have a foamy kind of quality to it. I just like what Slug said about the ripples, I think. And maybe like, maybe Nizy next time, think about like how you could use lighting to your advantage. Um, but I, I would also like to have seen like a little bit more like ripples in the water here. I mean, that's a very clever idea. That is a cool idea. This thing's too cute to be the Loch Ness Monster. I also thought the Loch Ness Monster was a plesiosaur, like a four-finned brontosaurus. This looks more like a serpent-type thing, but it's also not real, as far as science can tell, so... Might as well be talking about what the actual shape of a unicorn is, but... <laughs> uh, but that doesn't... I don't, I don't care about that at all. That doesn't matter to me. Like, accuracy of the Loch Ness Monster's representation is not at all important. The the composition that you have in the middle here with it kind of swirling around, kind of curling around is awesome. Awesome. Final thoughts, judges, before we wrap up part number one. Oh, good job. Good job to the first half of the entries for the three block challenge number four. Um, if you are checking us out in the live stream, thank you again for checking uh, for checking us out for taking a uh, second to, to hang out with us. I appreciate it. Stay where you are. We'll be back shortly for part number two. If you are checking us out after the fact on YouTube, you should have been there. It was awesome. No matter what you're doing, though, you need to do slash three BC and go vote for your favorite if you haven't already for the uh for the player's choice award for this challenge so stick around we're gonna be right back so there we are